Yes. Uncle Tommy will take Dad down to the shop where they'll tailor a computer to suit what Dad wants. Excellent. Oh, sorry. Hello? Hello? Gone. I better go. I just can't get used to this phone. Well, it looks very fancy. What does it do? Everything apart from taking calls. You can't use it. But you're working with computers and things every day. You even set up your dad's satellite navigator. I know, but it's just a new way of working. I'm just not there yet. No matter how much you use this stuff, there's always something new. It's always hard to cope with a different way of doing things. Yes, must have been a big change for you when they stopped the man with the red flag walking in front of the car. <laughs> for goodness sake, my bank's been bought over. I have to use the internet only bank now. Well, what am I going to do? I've got to go into the bank to get money out. Well, surely you can still use an auto bank. I have to go into the bank to transfer money. I've got my main account. That gets my pension paid into it and it pays my gas bill, my council tax, etc. Then I've got my savings account and my spending account. I do my banking online. Oh, that's far too complicated. It is not. Sign in a few mouse clicks and you're away. Well, I did have a look at it. But first there's remembering the name and the password. I thought that would be the same as the pin, but it's nothing like it. I wrote mine in a sticky note and stuck it in the screen. Oh, very good, Tommy. And you leave out sandwiches and lemonade for the burglars as well. Well, that's another thing. Security. I mean, what happens with that wee padlock thing? Your computer's got a padlock? Yes. Oh, not the computer. The, the banking screen. What about it? Well, how do you open it? You don't. Well, I don't. You're not meant to. Well, supposing somebody else opens it? I don't think anybody opened it. It's just there to show a padlock. Oh, don't be daft. Why would they have a padlock you can't use to show how good their drawing is? I'm just saying, it's just them telling you how safe it is. You see, I just don't like all the nonsense that goes with these things. That's why I don't have a computer. Yet. I want to load you up with a whole load of nonsense that you could well do without. And I just don't see why I need a computer. But, Dad, a computer will make all sorts of things that much easier. I don't need things easier when they're not difficult in the first place. But, Jack, that's the way everything's going now. You can't even get your pension from the post office anymore. And the local surgery won't let you phone for repeat prescriptions anymore either. Why would you get one if you can't get in yourself? You do it online. Or you send a text message. Oh, that's ridiculous. You're telling me Tom Robertson couldn't get his heart pills because he got so flustered and panicked by it all. The poor man's lucky to be still alive. Well, I don't have a heart condition and I don't need a computer. What if I got one and I... Oh, I don't know, I, I lost... I, I lost my handwriting. You lost your handwriting? Oh, you know what I mean. Look at Bill Carrick. Broke his leg. By the time it was better... He lost his handwriting. He couldn't drive. What are you two on about? Could he drive before he broke his leg? Well, he couldn't drive with a broken leg. And I don't suppose he could take the car and leave his leg at home. So he got his son to drive him about. Or he took taxis. Six months he was out of the driving seat. By the time he got back in it, well... He'd lost his confidence. He couldn't drive. Scared of not being able to write? Bill Carey couldn't drive? What a load of old rubbish. You're no scared of forgetting how to drive. You're scared of getting a computer. Of not being able to use it. Or breaking it. Or looking stupid. Give it to him, Laura. What's this? An appointment? This shop where we're getting your PC. We'll make it so it just does what you want it to do. So it's not full of stuff you'll never use. And I'm coming with you to help. As if things weren't bad enough. <laughs>